Um, it's probably not overly important what the equivalent units in all of this is. I'm going to just get to what the totals are. So over here again, service club, Meadow Ridge. Um, the north and lots were separated. They, for all intents and purposes, could probably be combined because it's not overly critical. It's all going to the park. Um, that path lot, we, there's zero assessments on the path, which is the one kind of to the west of the road that has the landscaping and the trees. And then there's the beaten property, which is to the east of that road. And so as I mentioned, the way that front foot calculation went for that road, since that's probably the only real unique piece. So um, I'm going to focus on this front foot column here. So the total length of the road was from 19th Avenue to the north, let me show an image here. So from 19th Avenue to this property line was 450 feet, or yes, 450 feet. And then from that line, kind of weaving through the trees to the ending point was 650 feet. So remember those numbers, 450 and 650 is basically splitting off of that parcel line. Okay. So, and then, um, so we'll start with the 450. That was the east property, so that's 450. That west property had no benefits, so we removed that frontage. Uh, could you go back to your assessment map again before we get to this? Yeah. Your original assessment map, boundaries. Okay, it does include the beaten property. Yes. I thought it was straight across, but I see it does include the beaten property. Thank you. That looks like California here, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> They're not assessing California. Yeah. Maybe we should. Yeah, I thought it was straight across, but not. But that answers my question. So thank you. Yes. Okay. So, um, so the 450 is the frontage for that parcel, and then 1300. That is, we basically doubled that frontage because there was 650 on both sides. That's kind of how we treated it. It was the same parcel on both sides. It was cutting through it, but we kind of treated it as if. There's a dual benefit on both sides of the road. So that's how that front foot was determined, 1300 and the 450, and then ran the numbers through, and that's how it shook out here. So the only really unique piece is probably that road, just because of there's different parcels. So any questions? Project. And I, I guess I could add, or maybe I should ask you, John, um, if the plat were to be denied, um, I don't foresee that being an issue because from a park board standpoint, because all the costs are on their own property, but in terms of how the parcels are shown, I don't know if we need to do anything special. I think it's acceptable like this, even if the plat, uh, I mean, the plat's in its final stages for approval. Okay. I mean. I don't think there's going to be any issues. It's pretty straightforward replat. That's kind of the only unique piece, but again, it's all park property, so. It looks like a fair allocation, you know. The concern was that you dump all the specials on one parcel. Yeah. And, you know, then sell off that parcel, and then right. park would have no, but the allocation to me looks pretty fair. And, and I, I do maybe want to, I, I don't want to allude to the fact that this is exactly how the benefit goes. It's similar to all the other discussions with the front foot and yep. adding it and it's just kind of, you know, talking to park staff and myself kind of looking at it thinking this kind of makes sense that yep. there's dual benefit here. It's We're not going to sit out and car, car, cars. It's not a toll, toll road, you know, so yep. that, was, that was our best guess at it. So. Lincoln, like motion to approve 2019-1. Uh, Second. Move second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. And that appears to be all the districts. Dustin or John, do we have anything else before the commission today? Well, in that case, okay, we'll stand adjourned. <laughs>